Did you know that Napoli stopped existing almost 20 years ago? We start with a brief history on Neapolitan football, where in the early 1900s British sailors and locals formed Naples Football and Croquet Club. The team competed in the Lipton Challenge Cup, a trophy formed by Thomas Lipton, you know, the guy who invented Lipton, with other southern Italian teams, since the southerners were not welcomed to the Italian Football League. In 1912, Internazionale Napoli split off from them with the two clubs reuniting in 1922 as Football Club Internazionale Naples, abbreviated FBC Inter Naples. A certain fat man came to lead Italy and the name of the team had to change to reflect its Italianness and would thereafter be known as Associazione Calcio Napoli. The club entered the first year of Italian football which was split in two groups. Napoli finished last in their group with one point from 18 games. This prompted rival fans to call them the Little Donkeys, throwing shade at the city's emblem, which was a horse. The club and its fans have since taken this nickname on and have made it their own. Paraguayan-born striker Attila Salustro was the first fully-fledged fan favorite and the first in a long line of amazing attackers to play for Napoli. After they moved into their Stadio San Paolo in 1959, they won the club's first major trophy, the 1962 Coppa Italia, despite playing in Serie B at the time. In 1964, another name change was completed, this time to Società Sportiva Calcio Napoli. The 70s saw the rise of the club to a regular solid top 6 side, with appearances in the UEFA and Cup Winners' Cups, third and second place finishes in Serie A and another Coppa Italia in 1976. And then, in 1984, Napoli signed one of the best players of all time, Diego Armando Maradona. The squad was gradually built around him and the club rose to win their first Scudetto in 1987, also lifting the Coppa Italia. As they were the first and to this day only southern Italian team to win the title, Maradona attained near godlike status in Naples. This status was further cemented with the 1989 UEFA Cup win and another Scudetto in 1990. That same year, however, he tested positive for a certain forbidden substance and subsequently left, sending the club into a downward spiral which saw them become a yo-yo team and culminated in 2004 with their bankruptcy. Film producer Aurelio Di Laurentiis immediately created a new club called Napoli Soccer. In 2006, the old name SSC Napoli was restored and since 2010, iconic players like Edinson Cavani, Gonzalo Higuain have led them to two more Coppa Italia trophies. This year, the all-elusive Serie A was conquered after 22 years with a new batch of superstars like Kvica Kvaratskhelia and Victor Osimhen. They are set to become icons of the Parthenopei, provided they value the love of the Neapolitan fans more than the shiny lights of Europe's superclubs.